I'm Kiri Z. I'm Grey Kid soon. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, hold on. Um, so you're managing the timer off the video, meaning I don't have to do a countdown, which Correct. means yep. less you work have for to. me. It's sort of a, it's a courtesy thing. Good. No, it's a, wait. I don't have to, but it's a courtesy. Yes. So I should do a countdown. It's up to you. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. All this pressure. I, uh, hold on. Uh, okay. Let's, um, <laughs> okay. I've got my trigger finger on. This is, you guys can do the intros. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Right. So, tell, oh. tell them about the game. Okay, this is Shanghai EXE, Dinso Network. Uh, it's a Toho Battle Network cross fan game. It's basically Toho characters in the Mega Man Battle Network universe. Um, it plays pretty much just like your regular Battle Network game. So. It's in Japanese. Yeah. So and... there's no English translation for it. Um, it's in beta, so there's no alpha, I guess. So there's no real point in doing a full translation for the game until much later. And as you'll see, if it's pretty will be solid. Any... So. And it has one of the best features for the tutorial. Not everything is explained out. You can just skip that part and just go straight to the battles. Which now, instead of having your regular draws where you have normally three cannons in a row explaining, like, you can take these chips, now everything is set back to RNG where the folder will be shuffled normally. So skipping the tutorial will be up to uh, luck to go fast. Instead of mashing text and skipping cutscenes. Those things are a lot cuter than the tires. They're adorable little fluff balls. <laughs> There's five battles though instead of three, so it takes a little longer in that regard, but you don't have oh, to without the text, master I'm pretty text. sure it's faster. And I'm trying to get counters here so that I get the double damage every time. So counters are good in this game in that it gives you frags as well as the uh, um, double damage benefit. And in this game there are three types of frags and not one. There's the regular bug frags, there's red bug frags and blue bug frags. Called which... freeze frags. And, uh, well, the blue frags are called freeze frags, and the red frags are, I think, called error frags. So. Sorry, I keep interrupting you. You're supposed to do the explaining. I'm supposed to shut up and play. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't translate anything like you did. Everything's just color-coded. <laughs> but, yeah, it, we'll get to a point where these types the the two other types of frags will be relevant and I'll explain it from there but right now sc school's over and we need to go home talk to mom like usual and there's a person working on our fridge I mean have you ever had your fridge just stop working? So right there I was trying to just get enough zenny to make it through the next part just to... For later stuff, part of the route. And you can reset stuff like BN1. BN1 and BN2 you can reset to manipulate some of the zenny 
draws, and that was not very nice, but oh well, I'll manage. And like in uh, BN games, the paths are color coded to indicate like where the path to the square is. So right now, um, we're basically saving someone from being bullied. Being quite the anti bully ranger. These are like your heal Navi variants. There will be normal Navis you can fight later, and they're a lot more brutal than these guys. They're scary. Yeah, the fights in this game, you'll notice later on, are a lot scarier than. Uh, your regular Battle Network games, but um, I'm just gonna brag and say that they are harder and that I'm getting through them just fine, so. This is fine. So, this part right now is where getting information from a guide was absolutely necessary because there is almost no, in almost no indication for people who don't read. Japanese. So they didn't break our oven, they just broke our fridge. Yeah, uh, if I remember myself, uh, Bash and. Uh, I. Yeah. Yeah, we all pretty much just brute forced the first time that we played this game and finding that where we needed to go underneath the bridge to find that item took hours. So. Click everywhere and help you find it. Pretty much. So I got a barrier star back there. This one's a HP memory. This one's an encounter I don't really want to deal with, so run away. And good. So the main character you're playing as in this game is Alice, and you are Shanghai, her net navi, or her doll, I guess, in the Toho universe. Alice is basically Lan. Uh, go away. Ashing's hard. Um, you also have your friend slash rival, um, which you'll be seeing soon because you need to get some defrost regimen of some kind. Her name is Marissa and her uh, net navi is uh, Marissa. <laughs> so I don't know if that's kind of a twin clone thing or whatever but this is her over here. We're gonna get the defrost thing and we're also gonna get um, her navi uh, her navi chip which will be very useful later. It does 100 damage in a straight line and it's electric element. So gonna get some uh, sneak runs there. Have a different name, but I don't understand the naming mechanism of what the sneak run is, so I just call them sneak runs. Didn't you like translate them to like shinobi run? Something? Shinobi dash? Yeah, something like that. I don't pay attention to my own translations. Well, because I think that's what it is in the XE in general, so. Yeah. Marisa. Ben method. I can't ban him right now, I'm playing the game. Get over repair 20 or recover 20. You need that because it's nice to have a star code and you need it later for uh, storyline purposes. So, I break this ice out of the way because this gives me a ghost body which is equivalent to an invis chip. Break this eye. So yeah, this is very similar to the first scenario in uh, Battle Network 1, where you're basically clearing the path to get to the boss of this area. Instead of fire, it's all frozen over? Yeah. Removing four repair 20s, or recover 20 Rs to put in some nice chips. And here is our first boss. 
who is the Ice Fairy, aka Cherno, or Cierno. I don't know how to pronounce it. Cherno. Counter there. Got it. Uh, I didn't get what I wanted there, though. But that'll do some nice damage still. That's a nice counter hit finish, because you get 10 frags when you counter finish. And it's going to be freeze frags, of course. And when we finish, we go to bed. some random things. I don't know what we're doing. We're at school right now. We need to talk to some people. I'm sure this is an important person in the Toho universe, but I don't know who it is. Uh, PC-98 characters. Okay. I'm gonna say PC-98 is probably some shooter in the Toho. I guess all the Tohos are shooters. What, are what am I saying? I just called them all bullet hells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you... Yeah, where are all the Cerno subs in here? Cerno subs. Okay, right now we're gonna go off but, against um, a tank. Because uh, it's completely not suspicious to like go towards a tank as it's staring you in the face. So we jack into the tank and fight against it. This early in the game. So I wanna do... Dang it, did that way too early. So what I wanted to do was get a counter off that because that guy's gonna take forever to kill. Especially when I don't get good draws. So I'm gonna try to get Gray, um Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Gray. I was about to ask. Cause I have the link, but it's on my other laptop. Oh good, I got my nice stuff. Even though I'm gonna do way too much more damage than I need to. Yeah, there's no English translation for this game. Probably because there's not a point to doing one yet. I do have a guide for this game that can do some that can help people through this oh, game who don't know English. Speaking of gu speaking of guide, you should add where the HP memories and the reg ups and whatnot from my uh, from mine. I right, still find it conf I still find it confusing. He hasn't made an English version of the game, though he codes the game in English. Uh. So now we gotta go see. So this is technically called the Genso area here. Don't know what Genso means. I think Genso is the term for like the uh, Toho universe. This is what Zex was telling me yesterday. Um. So I'm gonna head to the city area next to uh, beat up some more guys. Which has probably one of the best color schemes for the roads. Mm -hmm. um, so I beat up guys because I'm a peacekeeper in the world, so I'm going to terrorize people. And um, I don't know bully what no else bully. to do right now. Bully no bully. Yes, bully. We're bullying the bullies. We, we're good guys. So yeah, this is not a ROM hack. This is uh, Built Alone's fan game, um, made by Cookie, I think his name. Uh, Corky. 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 And um, he does all the sprite work on his own. Um, you can even see some of the work he does. Well, on no. His Twitter. No, he. There's another person that's part of the team that does the artwork. Okay. Like, 
uh, he does some concept stuff, but the guy that does like ev- literally all the battle chips is somebody else. Okay. Because I've seen some of their streams that they do, and yeah. you can see all the sprite work that they do on uh, Nico. Yeah, I think Corky does like the overworld and uh, stuff like that. That I'm specific stuff, but the guy, the different guy, does all the uh, chips. So, we're pretty much saving Optimus Prime from being bullied. Mm-hmm. And I am not getting very good chips right now. There. So, I basically have Alphabet Soup right now, but I'm trying to work my way towards not getting Alphabet Soup. The first probably half hour is Alphabet Soup. And then it goes to very, very clean folders of minor alphabet soup. Yeah. What is the hardest Toho game? Uh, I'm not the right person to ask that. The hardest Neither. Toho, the hardest Toho game is the one you find hardest. <laughs> any, any because it's all things. opinions from there. So basically, For me, what, it's all the fighter I should probably versions. explain all the chips I'm using. I'm sorry. So, the chip I just used was like a Vulcan of sorts. It's technically called Shotgun. Um, but it was like a Vulcan of sorts that um, only shoots in a fan shape. I just like to call it Grasshopper Gun. <laughs> so, I've been using... Uh, Knives, swords, lances, that's basically your sword, white sword, and long sword combo. I'm not going to be using any PAs in this game, but uh, there are a good series of PAs you can use. Um, like, there are your standard uh, life sword PAs, but there's also chips that are just life sword range. Um, there's uh, the Poison Pharaoh variety uh, PAs. And other stuff. Anyway, I'm going to explain here. This is your basic um, Navicust. It's called Add-on Manager. And it works differently in that you don't have to fit it into a grid. You can just have your, what are called the Hertz and the Core. Um, you can't put more than uh, one of the same color on the Core. And I didn't know I could exit out of that. <clears throat> but you have so much Hertz you can put on there and so much Core that you can put on and that powers up your Navi. Basically the same thing as your uh, Navi Quest. Um, this is Sequoia. Fast and kind of a jerk. So basically the add-ons I put on are basically the same thing you start with in uh, all the other BN games. Rapid, Fire, um, Buster Power, and uh, Ow. Uh, chip plus one. I'll just throw this out there that Sekuya is probably my favorite boss fight. <laughs> And yeah, Romelia is kind of a shrimp in this game. That's Sequoia's uh, net off. She's essentially Yai, but with a Navi that does something. I <laughs> need more anti damage. <laughs> oh, she anti damages, I think. Like, her later forms kind of just fly up afterwards. She's kind of like Shadow Man in that regard. Um, I can't remember if you locked them to one panel with uh, airy grabs. You can. Okay. There is a chip you can use to prevent area locking, though. It's called area join. And you basically place it on your side of the field to uh, prevent... Um, it's hard to explain. Everything's so hard to explain. And why did I select them in that order? Oh, well. 
These guys just spit all sorts of junk on your side. Area join basically just prevents area locks. First it hits the same row you start on, and if you add another one it basically prevents any um, area grabs on your side of the field. Shinobi is the better one to get in the run, uh, but Fight, it... Uh, fight, uh, sorry to like cut. I'm going want to for cut. Shinobi, basically. But yeah. uh, essentially, for the uh, to make the game super safe and uh, like completable to a certain extent, Shinobi is the ideal uh, style to get because of its um, bonuses that come with it. However, Fighter has more range in DPS, but suffers from not being safe, and some fights later are. Rather difficult if you don't have Shinobi's perks. Um, that's not what I want. Take it so, I... I have no idea who this is either. But she's useful for a lot of codes later. Anyway, just stuffed her in a bag and jacked her out. Hope that didn't sound weird. Uh, patchouli, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Inviable yeah, Area is another name for it. Inviable Area, Area Join. I'm not sure the owner, though, but the Navi is Patchouli. Kowakuma? Ah. So now we go to our second dungeon of the game, which is Puff Zone, or just the air cleaner comps. Basically, Airman, or not. Which is <laughs> one of the more annoying dungeons. Yeah. But if you get the movement down, it, it's so good and satisfying. Okay, I'll take encounters in this area, and then I'll go back afterwards. <laughs> I forgot to get sneak runs. I've done that a few times. Yeah. I've also done taking sneak runs in the first comp, and then screwing up on the th fourth comp. You have to wait here. It's also fun Even when you get into an encounter and you lose track of where you are, and then you get immediately gassed. There's one thing that I want to mention with the clouds is that when you save and reset, the clouds will be placed back to where they initially start. Which, in theory, you can pass some clouds by save resetting, but the, the last clouds in the comp one always start at the very end, so you can't skip them. Mm -hmm. Get in range. Thank you. That is not what I wanted right away, though, but whatever. <laughs> Money. And then Marissa and Marissa managed to unlock the next elevator or something. The Marissa duo. And her teleporting abilities. Mm -hmm. No, I don't need to go back down. Yep, 
her teleporting abilities. Ooh. Oh, be sure to stick around for the BCC Blight BCC turning. It is amazing, to say the least. So more cloud dodging, and not many battles because I got my snake runs this time. Okay, uh, that's good. I missed my second sword. That'll be nice, though. So the progs, what are the progs exactly in this game? Do you guys know? The They're... maid bots? Yeah, the maid bots. They're kind of like, I just call them Mrs. Progs. Mrs. Prog bots. Oh, the bullet hell part comes a lot. <laughs> it, the game is not forgiving when you get further into the run. So, uh -huh. the difficulty curve is astounding, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, soon it'll get a little more difficult. And why did I? Whatever. Yeah, touch a cloud, take fifty damage. That's how it goes here. Okay, boom. And I want this bio spray just to be a folder filler later. No, oh, bullet hell is already in there, especially if you go for the V5 versions of navvies. I'll show those off probably close game if I can. So this isn't a completed version of the game. This is just a... Uh, I'm going to save here, just in case I mess up. And not just the navvies, even the viruses, when they, they get to the later stages, they are very brutal. It's a little exploit there. No, oh, right here? Yeah, th this is the part that I always get messed up at. I need to learn that trick. There's a few, like, pixels of leniency, but it's a rather tight window anyways. Okie dokie. This is the part where I have to be get take it really close. It's the one line that they wish they had in BN3. Damn those alpha comps. And I just choked. <laughs> Rip. And I forgot I saved last there, so. <laughs> so let's just lose like a minute. <laughs> Not a huge deal, but. Oh no. So, who do we blame in this situation? Don't mind me. Okay, this part is still good. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> nice. I gotta wait here, because this cloud's super fast. Here. Just to put in these two. 
And then second boss coming up. So the next boss coming up uh, has a very interesting property that uh, about elements. Where she is both wood and poison at the same time. Well, she's poison element, but she uses both types <clears throat> of attacks. Because I don't, I don't know. I, I, were you able to inflict... I guess it depends. I guess. Fire damage does double damage to her. That's because poison is weak to fire. Right, there's three now. And I think I got the kill. Because electric nice. does double damage to poison. So there's six elements in this game. Um, and every element is strong against two... Against... Every, every element is strong against two type of elements. But every element is also weak to do two different kinds of elements. So that's another thing you have to keep memorized in this game. So Which I never do. Yeah, it's a little uh, tricky there. So with poison there, um, poison is strong against um, wood and uh, I think water. Yeah, water. And but it's weak to fire and electric for some reason. And the other new element is ground, where it's good against uh, fire and elect, but it gets rather murdered by water and wood. Yeah. So. So, there, there's a little chart I have on my guide there that kind of shows the connections between all six of them that I that's also from the Japanese guide there, but um, you can use that kind of as a reference for all the different stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna get some extra chips here from this folder too that this guy gives me, which will be very helpful, and I gotta put in some auto codes. If for anyone wants to see the guy that Doisen have, you just have to visit his profile page and his information. Because I hate posting the link. So I'm getting two things here. One of them's a chip called Zero Knuckle. Um, if you played Mega Man Zero Four, you have an idea what that does. And I'm just gonna get an unlocker here. Also code a crack tool called a crack tool. Unlocks purple mystery data. And I need to do a folder right here. One takes a little longer because I'm getting stuff from folder two. Um, replace it with this, 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 and that'll do, and I got this, 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 um, this, I think that's it, and this. So zero knuckle, if you don't know what it does, it takes the, you hit an enemy with it, and whether it kills her or not is kind of inconsequential, but it takes the effect of the chip or the enemy data that it has, and you basically can use that enemy's chip data and attack the any enemy with it. <sighs> and I forgot synchrons again. But, um... You can use that against your enemies. So, say for instance, I hit a ray gun enemy with zero knuckle, and I can use the ray gun that I just attacked and use a ray gun on another enemy. The ray gun enemies would be known in the Battle Networks as cannon dubs or just cannons? Yeah, cannon. Or, say for instance, I hit, um, like the last boss, I hit medicine with um, Z Knuckle. I can use medicine, the Navi, um, the Navi uh, chip, back on her. So it works on boss Navis as well. 
Is it of the same version, though? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's the same with V2, V3. I haven't really tested that. Be fun to find out, though. <laughs> Take care, for God. <laughs> okay, so this guy, he'll give me some BAT data, but I had to give him a repair 20, which I got way back in the refrigerator comp at the beginning of the game. That was the point of getting the repair star earlier. This is a fan game, made from scratch. So you have to be careful while talking to him to not mash A, or else you'll get another like eight text boxes of him doing saying the same thing over. Yeah. Um, right now, I am going to get a style change. I am hoping to get Shinobi. If I get any other, I'll just deal with it. I don't know why I'm saving beforehand. Probably because I'm tired of dying. You want to do element manip, don't you? Oh yeah. No, I don't care about my element. Uh, right. Use swords. I'll let Doistum get his style first, and then I'll mention about the element manip. If it, if it still works or not is a different thing, though. Get, I get Heat Shinobi, which I'm fine with. So, Shinobi style. It is your basic Proto Man style, but like 10 times better. If you're wondering where to get Shanghai from, there's the download link again. So, you just notice still a work in progress, so. Gotta go back to talk to Professor Man. So Shinobi uh, inc increases your b base speed to five, aka max, and your charge shot is basically an elemental wide sword that is tw twenty times your attack power, and it has the neat property of yeah. reflecting damage and blocking attacks. And the reflected attack works like the reflectors in BN6, where it's almost instantaneous across the, the, the screen. But going to Element Manip is where you... When you fight the, uh, the encounter to get the, a, a style, or later it's 50 battles and then you'll get a new style, if you save before them, and fight the encounter, you'll get your style and you'll get like, a random element. But the element is not set, so if you reload your save and do the fight again, you might get a different element. So, so let's say if you were like hoping for a poison folder and you need a poison element, you could reset over and over to get a poison style. So medicine, very nice chip. Hits three panels ahead and poisons in a three by three. Probably one of my favorite Navi chips, just because it completely starts draining them. Shinobi one thing I for uh, will you charge your shot, and then when you press A as you charge, you uh, step sword your chip, basically. Yeah, I was about to say because I forgot to mention that. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. This Even is though it's a fan game, so sorry. I don't burn. Go ahead. It's fine. Um, even though Shinobi is like quote unquote your sword using uh, style, it's extremely safe, and you can. Like essentially use every start every fight, just go in the back row and like aim from there. If you have a sword, then use like charge and step sword. If you like use range, then you can just stay in the back anyways. Extremely safe. 
the reflector on it for the charge shot is amazing. So I don't think there's any roll chips in this game, but because of the, um, you can do like a double, double or triple um, deletes, you get a new emotion window. That's basically your happy emotion. And when you use a chip right after that, you do get an HP recover when you do that, which basically acts as a mini roll in that case. So that does help you boost your HP between battles or during battles so that's a huge help i don't even know if a delete is necessary but maybe it is i don't really notice it too often because i don't well i do have need healing from time to time but it does help okay so here i need to buy a lot of hp in my From the arcade, I don't know if people notice, but the PMD that met, uh, wow, I said method. Doisim okay. just. <laughs> I'm only mildly offended. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I was thinking You're gonna of another call me Kilios at least, so that's okay. <laughs> Go the on. PM the PMD had 35,000 Zenny in them, and there's another one in the same comp, so in total, that one comp has. 70,000 zenny and it is amazing for the beginning of the game because it just allows you to do all the shopping that you want yeah you access network to get all the bonus chips in the uh, VC downloads of like the battle network two through six games so now we're in eternity area aka bunny uh, heaven. AKA everything is green. Mm -hmm. So in, in this area, the paths aren't really color coded to indicate where the square is, but to indicate where the square is, the paths will have the entire tile set grass and rocks. While there are certain spots where there's going to be like one rock tile separated by grass and then another rock tile, that is a off-course path. Need to talk to this Mrs. Progbot or whatever. I just like calling it Mrs. Progbot. I know they're actual Toho things, but... Yeah, I just call him Mrs. Progbot too instead of made bots. Mm -hmm. So basically where I'm headed right now is getting a dark chip that I'll never use. And there is a dark emotion in this game because everyone loved dark chips in the other games, I think. Maybe that was just me. But in order to get a dark chip, we gotta go to the internet. Now, I do have a sneak run equipped, but there is still a very mild chance I can get an encounter. And sneak runs only cover encounters, not areas, in this game. Um, but again, it's a very mild chance. It's like one of two encounters I could get. One of few encounters, I mean to say. There is a force encounter coming up, though. And I am heat element, and all of, most of these are aqua elements coming up, so I'm going to save beforehand. Though the internet in this game is pretty, I think. Thankfully, I got a uh, elected here. I like Marissa. Also, speaking of dark chips, I'd like to point out that the dark emotion does not stay with Shanghai, no matter how many times you use the dark chips. So you can reflect attacks with uh, her sword, but it's not going to be easy with uh, fast. It's insanely cannon. hard with it's insanely hard with cannons. Uh huh. So 
so I had a very slight chance. But I had nothing else to do in the meantime other than Inky Buster shots. So this is under square. Might as well just get my free dark dark chip. There's one other dark chip you can get in this alpha version, but it costs like 100,000 zenny, and there is a point I can get 100,000 zenny. That's forced through the story, but I'm not going to really get it in this run, so no point in getting it. There's another thing that we got from that fight, and it's not something that's covered in this run. It's essentially a bug catching chip, a virus catching chip. Mm -hmm. It deals like 10 damage, can be powered up with attack pluses, mm -hmm. and if your vi if the virus you want to catch has that amount of HP or lower, using that chip will catch it, and then you'll be able to use a chip with the virus, and it'll spawn on your side of the field and help you. Mm -hmm. And you can power Which, up that with frags and stuff. Powered up with the bug uh, bug frags for levels, the uh, error frags for damage, and freeze frags for health? Or was it the other way around? I, I don't cannot remember. remember. The details. It's just each of each frag can power up any of its uh, stats. And where the viruses are stored is by uh, going to your homepage. There's a warp leading towards the net, and a warp behind it is where all the viruses are stored in your PC. Mm -hmm. There's also a warp behind of where you spawn from uh, Alice's computer, but we'll get to that later. Well, part of that that you can just do through the normal gameplay allows you to uh, buy um, interior design decorations. That's another feature you can do through this game that um, if you really want to, you can buy uh, little knickknacks for your own home design stuff. Your uh, It's similar internet. to the base... Yeah, it's basically similar to base hideouts in the Pokemon game. Yeah. They cost uh, an arm and a leg, but you can do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, like there's this mini tank that you can put on there. There's <laughs> probably the most expensive things are things like BBS boards and stuff like that that are functional. Uh huh. And a bed. Yeah. So yeah, this is basically the um, Higsby dungeon aside from not having number puzzles or anything. It's just pathing. Thank God. <laughs> Don't want number puzzles in Japanese? I'm, I can do that just fine. <laughs> Only if it's guessing. <laughs> so yeah, there's other side paths that give you some pretty decent items, but for the speedrun, at this point, it's not particularly worth it. I guess if you want the hurt. So what I did earlier with the add-on manager was just add a uh, buster charge and a buster power-up which I didn't mention earlier because we were talking about other stuff, which is just fine. We need to inform as much as we can without getting too sidetracked. So right here is coming up is a virus fight, which I love because it features the um, the copy printer thing. Or mm -hmm. One of my favorite viruses in this game. They lay down landmines, which some vi variants just crack all the panels on your side of the field. This one makes all your panels, all the panels on your side of the field turn into magma, magma blocks. Uh, the third variant makes them all uh, ice panels. So if you can do it on their side of the field, it works to your benefit. So it's different. Th this is Shanghai AXC, a Toho Battle Network fan game. Mm -hmm. It's not Capcom. Yep, you can download it. Mm -hmm. Also, another per, uh, the the thing about reflecting attacks is even the the traps that the printer set on your field can be reflected back to their face. Yeah, they they place actual windows, I should say. So you know, 
um, making your browsers crash and stuff. I think that's the little translation is browser, printer, window crasher or something. The whole name doesn't fit in English. Yeah, this game's on PC. I'm not aware if there's a version that runs on Macs. Pretty sure it's PC only, and it's pretty badly optimized. So, like, there's not a whole lot you can do if the game runs bad on your computer. Um, Kyrie's laptop, like, saving takes what do you do? Say seven seconds. It, Whereas when it feels if when it feels okay, it does two seconds, but usually it's ten. Oh, yeah. Start. And on my desktop, and I think on Doisom's end, it takes like a, a second and a half or something like that. So that's why when I run this, I don't have to. I, I like that no, never save. So yeah. There's no fan translation yet, and there's probably not a point to getting one yet because this isn't in a full release. So, but I do have a guide for running through this game, doing a playthrough, as well as like translations for the chips and what they do. So if you want to use that, just go to my bio on my Twitch, and hopefully that'll help you. Also, if you're wondering why it's deathly silent, I skipped a cutscene earlier, and that somehow skipped the music trigger. So um, enjoy this for a little bit. I'm going to save before the boss, so we'll get the music back by then. Oh, no silent music uh, boss fight? We'll get the boss fight music. Because I like the boss fight music. I like the music for this area too, but it's not worth it right now. It's just eerily silent. So we're going back and turning on the area for this computer. And we have, uh, I think Tenshi is her name. And we're going to be fighting her Net Navi soon. Don't worry, guys. You can play Mighty Number no. 9. That game is out. <laughs> oh. Forgot to save. Or Just hope you don't get a hard luck. At least it's not breaking consoles, but a lot of people were worried about. I think money number nine was said to hard luck. Uh, we use where you had to unplug and plug them back in. So this is Iku, I think her name is. Yeah, that's something. Um, that's trivia related stuff, and that's not something I really know, Dream Eaters. She's really easy to counter. But she's completely electric elemental. But you know, we went from a 500 HP boss fight to a 600, now to a 1000 HP. And now she's gonna try to drill me. She's basically Thunderman mixed with a uh, drill man. So I'm gonna use her ability on her just for kicks, because I got it with Zero Knuckle. Crap! <laughs> Gotta showcase all of these boss chips of Z Knuckle. Mm -hmm. And I think I missed. Oh, I got him. Why is sword not an element? I don't know. I think there are, there are elemental swords in this game. I just don't get them. So, Iku down. Yeah, Black Echo, that's... Uh... One of the big problems is kind of why it's <laughs> called Capcom Crapcom now. Mediocre make an 11 and win. Yes. <laughs> so, now, this is the part where I always forget where to go from here. Except I remember because I hate this scenario coming up. Because this is the scenario where they force to change my folder. And I have to battle some really hard series of fights. Okay, so first, let's get some sneak runs. 
So, it hasn't been really clear because it's all in Japanese. But I have to go fight some N1 Premier League fights. Pretty not Premier League, I probably made that up. But N1 League fights. And these ones are doing a BN3, uh, you know, force thing where it's like, hey, we're going to change your folder for this. And hey, these fights aren't easy either. Wrong way. Would you like to take part in this? I don't have a choice. This is a segment of the game where fighter is both good and bad mm -hmm. overall. I do prefer Shinobi over this though, and it's for one specific fight. And you'll see I know which I... fight you're talking about. I tried with fighter so many times and it never worked. It's also really helpful to have a uh, ground for that fight too, but I can manage with Shinobi now that I've figured out. Oh, you can have reflect that attack. You have Shinobi. So first fight is here. And I'm saving before each fight, because you can die on every fight. And dying does not kick you out of the fight. It's literally a game over screen. Yeah. The game isn't forgiving in this card. This first fight are these, um... I don't know how to describe them. Okay, so this is one glitch in the game. Um, the chip picture you see up here does not match what chip you actually draw here. So, um, be wary of that. It has to do with uh, having your folder replaced, but you haven't edited yourself, so the game is kind of confused at what's going on. I actually have a heat sword right now, not a uh, white sword. So I'm gonna, ow, take damage. <laughs> so it hasn't been fixed yet. I have a gravity ball here, not a um, whatever it said I had. So it should fix by the next fight, where it actually shows what I have. Yeah. Um, yeah, at least it's just for one fight where it's just weird. Yeah. So now I gotta dodge like crazy, because these guys will shoot bombs everywhere. Okay, it said I had a knife. And it lied when it said I had a knife. Okay, I want to kill these two poison snakes quick, because they're kind of annoying. They're weak to flame, because they're poison. It's like memorizing Pokemon stuff, which I'm also bad at. Okay. So basically, that guy has, like, unlimited high cannons. Which, at the end, there's a series of three fights for all of these. So, you want to kill them quick, because it's a speedrun. And you want to not die, which is kind of also part of a speedrun, is not dying. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. You butt. That's a heal barrier. It heals your HP while the barrier is up. Uh, you can just do one shot to take it out. So just dink it and he doesn't heal anymore. There's another variant of barrier which is a float barrier essentially just giving you air shoes. Uh-huh. While you have it on. And I think it just lasts indefinitely until somebody hits you. There's just some pretty bad draws with the folder too. <laughs> I'm used to it. Yeah. The, the, the N1 folder is not rather uh good for folder flow it's better than other forced folders in other battle network games admittedly so. that is true they actually give you like tier two chips <laughs> rather than like <laughs> here have a regular sword or have a regular shockwave or a guard chip <laughs> So the reason I got the uh, attack plus two is for this fight, which sometimes they don't give you enough to break these barriers, but they were nice enough this time. Like that back, like that back. Nice counter. 
and I I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Don't question it. Okay. <laughs> um, but essentially, starting from this point on, this is where Shinobi truly shines overall. Uh -huh. Poison is weak to electric, so I just need you to get back behind that rock. Good. So, speaking of Shinobi, which element do you think is the best for the speed run? Earth. Earth. Ground. Because it's good for Tortoise Man and good for, uh... Uh... The, uh, last... One of the third... The second to last, uh... Fight. On this, uh, set. Uh, I wanted to hit that guy. Okay. because then you can move around a lot more freely. So wait till the end on that guy. Oh, whoops. I actually forgot to change the game that we're playing. Oh well. <laughs> it's okay. It's not even a game listed. Yeah, I, I would have listed it as games and demos anyway, and probably be better to leave it in the being category. Well, I did that backwards. Nice reflecting the cannon shot. I that was complete fluke. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when that guy goes berserk. I got lucky. So that shadow that I put on there, that gives everything you do a step, including like your charge shot, your uh, chips. It gives it a step sword effect. Um, but it also makes you invincible while you're doing a step sword effect. <laughs> Thanks, Tara. His name Genji? Is that what, uh... Is that what, uh, Remy... Remu... What did I... I'm just gonna stop talking right now. But technically, in the, uh in the game itself they're technically calling him tortoise man but you can call him genji that's fine too i'm gonna stop talking for a bit because i need to focus on this fight and my brain hurts right now so this is one of the fights where having fighter would be incredibly uh difficult mm -hmm. For the first two fights, it's not that bad, but the last fight is particularly brutal. With fighter? Yeah. I, I, I'd like to put it as not having Shinobi. Mm. This fight is kind of dumb too. Rip dust Can you get any style other than Shinobi and fighter? In a run? Uh, no, it, as the first. Uh... Oh, you, you you can get others, but it's just more likely to get Shinobi or Fighter. Get up here, little thing. No, it's not crit luck. This is a, this is a fan, fan game. game. It's, it's coded from the ground up, so it's not a wrong hack. I really hate this fight. And that's the reason why I think it should I should have listed as games and demos, but. Yeah. As I said, um, leaving it in the being category is probably better, because this would be... I don't know. So, now the whole side of my field is ground. If I get hit by one of those gravity balls, I'm pretty dead. You got so That's why I'm reflecting style. all of them. Because... <laughs> You can, you can also reflect the wormholes when they appear on your side of the screen, so you can just clear everything off. Oh, that's kind of nifty. <laughs> because if I get Wait, hit you... by a gravity ball, I'm pretty much stuck and I can't move. So... 
Yeah, when you enter a gravity state and you're on a desert panel, you cannot move ever until the gravity stops. Mm -hmm. Can you reflect Marissa's attack? Yes uh, and yes. Yeah. For the laser, it's a bit harder on the timing. About as hard as cannons or harder? No, it's a bit easier. Okay. Cannons and explosions essentially uh, are very, very hard to reflect back if they are reflectable. These are uh, Sir, Gun Sir Kill tanks, basically. So if you remember the Sir Gun dudes from uh, Battle Network 4, these are basically guys that just go in circles, and then they attack you when they're in range. So if you love those guys, they're back, kind of. Just not as brutal, I think, because they don't attack in a straight line, they attack in an arc. Uh... This fight is also nice for Shinobi style. Because you can hit the... Uh... Those things. Can reflect those things back at them. The rings of fire. Uh huh. So your whole side doesn't get completely flooded. Damn, that was a count. <laughs> Just stand in this. Oh yeah, heat style doesn't get hurt by rings of fire anyway, so it didn't matter. They basically just... I can't remember the exact effect. They either just don't get hurt or they get healed. I get them mixed up with uh, other BM games. Anyway, that's the uh, preliminaries done. So now I qualify for the actual deal. I don't know uh, if being fire elemental will make you resist the half damage from uh, elemental sword of fire. Yeah. I get or that mixed chip up. Of similar I get it mixed up with witch style, so... So now Yamame, that just sounds like a weird name, that <laughs> netop now basically adopts Medicine, who is now supposedly good. Yamame. Science brings people together. Uh-huh. N1, like the uh, letter, uh, N is in... Uh, Mm, no bully. Having a floating net navy would be interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna save before this next required fight. Yo, mommy. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, we also unlocked the next town, which is Eternity Town. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I get dog. Uh, Good God. Be nice. And it's for noble. <laughs> so in this part of the story, Tenchi has an issue and she needs to like go to the police station and she tries to guide you there, but you don't really need to talk to her other than she's in your room. So here we talk to uh, Reimu, who's having trouble getting a drink out of a vending machine. Of course it has a virus in it. And of course I forgot to uh, switch folders, because who always forgets? Donut, thank you. Donut. Okay, I'm good. Mm -mm. 
So because we saved her drink, uh, we get invited to her shrine. I don't know why I'm putting on a trap. I can't. Or a sneak run. Well, it's a. It does have the same feel as the old ones, but it's not forgiving in the slightest. Okay, thanks, PX. He clarified that in the the uh, drink machine, a yokai was causing the drink problem. So thank you, PX, for clarifying. Glad we're getting another crossover in this. So now we get probably the worst crisis in the game, the one I was not looking forward to. We now get to fight a Navi that has another boost in HP, 1500 HP, this early in the game. And it is rather terrible to fight. Yeah. We're going to be also switching st styles halfway through the game, otherwise I will get destroyed. This is Yorihime. Yorihime being essentially proto-man. You cannot area lock Yorihime because she uses inviolable area or area join. I will just show you just to show. See? Blocked. Cannot use two area lock because she uses area join. Every time and even her, with she counters. And even without the inviolable area, just having her invisible defense in front of her would stop the area locking from happening. Mm -hmm. And I really stink at countering her. She is difficult to counter in phase one. Let's see if I can even get zero knuckle to hit. Okay. Nice. Can I get a tie two times two. That. And I am not. So when she enters phase two, she takes on the element with her sword of my weakness. So I am switching styles right now. And she goes a lot faster. When she enters phase two, her swords become of the element that is strong against you. It deals massive amount of damage if she hits you. And that's already excluding the fact that she can do uh, a lem slash on her own. Yeah. So she's kind of hard. She moves crazy fast. <laughs> her most predictable attack is her charge. Ideally, you'd want the charge like every single turn, but yeah. uh, she's gone now. Cause I got the counter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did just use Elemental Slash multiple times. So yeah, that's her V1. Um, that's easy compared to other versions. She moves a lot faster than other versions. Mm -hmm. Imagine her in V5. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Me Already V1 is hard enough with the folder. So that wasn't too bad, actually. I got pretty lucky there. So now I go to sleep and I go to the uh, N1 uh, tournament, which is already pretty hard. I know Yorohime was hard, but this is also has some pretty hard fights. The first fight and the fifth fights are pretty easy. There are six fights total. Um, all the other fights, I can say, are pretty hard. Especially the, the small one. Yeah, the shorty. Shorty's a jerk. I consider getting in viable area for that fight, but I'll try to manage. In viable area does what now? 
it base basically the same thing what Yorihime did makes it so you can't get area locked. Okay. And Shorty likes area lock. Time a lot. Time Serenade and, and, and I think it's it, Serenade and being three needs that. I want to talk to you, not walk through you. Silex. So this guy is kind of a joke. Um, and I guess I'll area lock him, why not? Or not. Um, let's see if I can count it first. Yeah, it's, Serenade is so much easier with area locking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can beat him with that area locking, it's just, um, why? But, Serenade with, uh, Inviable Area would be... Fire, fire, Aqua Whirl. I'll have weakness for a little bit, but this first two... So this guy decides to bring along two dragons. We're literally fighting the Dragonborn. I don't like this fight. You butthurt! I really wanted to zero knuckle him, but he goes so fast that he just gets in my way. And he moves so fast that I like when he reflects, it's. I don't like this guy at all. Urgh! And he literally just. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop talking because otherwise I'll just rage this whole fight. So, uh, yeah. I don't like this guy. <laughs> oh, right, the dragons. This fight's actually pretty fun as Shinobi. Yeah, I can reflect a lot. But I really do not like this fight. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> against the rules. <laughs> oh my god, chat, please. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> Many grass stages to get away from his poisonous responsibilities. Get back here. Literally has green hair and has dragons on this team. Okay, he's dead. Next guy isn't so bad, especially since I have heat style. Last run I had poison style, so. Next guy is, I call him Hakutaka Man. He probably has a more correct translation. But this is, what's her bucket snabby? Somebody can tell everyone else what her Navi is, because I already forgot her name. You mean Hakuma Tatada Man? Yeah. I will say it's one angry midget, but it's not the midget oh, yeah. we're looking for. Um, literally beast out. Beasts out. So shoutouts to BN6, which we all just saw. <laughs> I guess you could say that's game set it would match. But he's pretty predictable. So let's get our bug frags. Freeze frags in this case. <clears throat> <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, next up is Shorty McDirkface. I am so glad Method cannot be banned. So this guy likes using um, a lot of tomahawks and um, death wipers, which are your standard chip long swords and uh, area grabs. So before he area locks me, I'm going to area lock him or her because we have gendered navvies. I'm gonna try to kill him really quick. Death Wiper is a poison elemental, uh, weak life sword. Yeah, it does 60 damage, but there are variants of Death Wiper. Three variants. I just got a Death Wiper 2, basically. Uh, I don't know why I'm saving before the next fight, but why not? Next fight is Spanner Man. Um, spanners are wrenches for us American folk. So, Wrench Man, Spanner Man, whatever you want to call him. He's very predictable. Because if you stay in the front row, they'll just do that. He'll try to sock you in the face like Guts Man, but uh, eventually fails. Yeah. Um... Okay, I didn't get a counter finish there because I kind of uh, fell for it. <laughs> Very easily manipulatable. Kind of a cool boss if you don't manipulate him, but. And this is the final uh, Tortoise Man. He's probably my favorite. Navi yeah, to fight. No, 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 no. <laughs> So if he gets that off, he does basically dive man's move, but um, he turns your entire side of the field, oh crap, I'm here, into uh, uh, what, talk for me. Desert panels. Thank you. It was really nice uh, that he could stop the first two rows of the... Uh, Panels not turning into desert because desert panels slow your movement down drastically. Yeah, I'm pretty dead if I get hit one more time, so it didn't matter if I change styles. The entire game is PC98, basically. We're not PC98, we're DBZ right now. Yeah, true. Like, this is one of the fights that you would probably ideally want to get ground element because ground uh, nullifies the speed down from desert panels. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get a lot of uh, counters on him, because I don't want to die. And thankfully I didn't. And for my reward, I get some concert tickets, which I give to Mom, and I get 100,000 zenny.
Wait, you get you get a concert ticket? Uh, that's what the translation said. And she's excited. She's like, "Woo! Thanks, my only daughter." So now we're coming up on the final dungeon, which is really quick. So we're coming towards the end of this demo here. And then I'll probably show some bonus stuff afterwards. For some reason, Tenchi's... So basically what happened with Tenchi and why she's always following us around, or why we're following her around, is when she had her little crime debacle at the school, um, Yorohime intervened, and she was going to delete Iku. But then all her school buddies basically intervened and said, no, we're not going to let you delete Iku. We're, we're showing school spirit now. And Yorohime was like, fine, I'm not going to delete everyone else. Um, so uh, she has to actually answer for her crimes and go to the net agency, which is the NA building. Also, this is Hakutaku's uh, net op. I don't remember her name. Um... But anyway, we have to go with her the whole time because she has to like answer for her crimes and stuff and report in every so often. Um, so that's why we're always following her around. Anyway, um, Raymond's Shrine is on fire. This is an unskippable skippable cutscene. Uh, Iku sacrifices herself to save Reimu. Kaine? Okay. So we're, it's up to us to uh, douse ourselves in water and jack into the shrine. Don't worry, lands survive much worse. And now we go through the Shinto Shrine comp. <laughs> just don't, worry <laughs> just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. You literally just got it by a car and kept walking. So the gimmick of this comp is every time it lights up and goes to like dark red, um, you need to be on those light uh, square panels, otherwise you take 200 damage. This is fine. This is literally fine. And you need to collect the yin and yang of every, symbols of every uh, comp. There's three comps. Put it in this in order to progress. Since I have sneak run on, I don't have to worry about random encounters. So, I'm literally just, um, Going it through here uh, on fire, worrying about nothing. So we're being six first state. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Cerno when you need Where's her? Where's Cerno when you be need her? Uh, she was uh, first boss, so she, she's, she's not here. Of, she's kind of dead. <laughs> Or as a ghost in one of the comps. Ah, uh, wrong way. So, the boss of this comp, I wish they changed just one of the letters in his name, because that would reflect a boss of another fan game. <sighs> because the boss of this comp is Pyroman. I wish it was Pyroman, because that's the uh, one of the Robot Masters in Mega Man Revolution. And I love his theme so much in that fan game. I don't think you guys understand it, but some people in chat may. Okay, so now I'm done with that. Let's use a full energy. Basically negate everything I just did. To just get rid of all the fire. So um, he's beating up on... I don't understand this. He's beating up on Tortoise Man, who's a ground type. And Pyro Man's a fire type. I, I don't understand. Literally don't understand. So this is basically um, Burner Man with the two torches. This is a pretty cool fight, though. Because he literally just does a lot of cool stuff. And I completely forgot what chips I had out. But um, both my, uh, I have two chips that are breaking type, the uh, flame arm and the, uh, the drill arm that can break panels, break the, not the panels, the torches that it brings out. So it's very helpful. 
So I break those as soon as I can. I personally don't like to break them because it's like reflect fodder everywhere. Yeah. His attacks are good enough flame fodder. This is Burner Man who tries a bit. Mm -hmm. ah. um, I'm showing how hard this fight is. <laughs> every fire and every beam fused together. Soul. And I'll just finish him off with Marissa. And time. 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 Um. Don't think anyone's. <laughs> it's okay. Um, anyway, Yorahime's net op, who I already forgot, uh, female Chod. I got it. Sees that um, Tenchi did some stuff and is like, okay, this pays off for everything. Cool. Go to the hospital now because you're kind of dying. I'd say basically 131. Cool. 